Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to model a bolt head, I guess, yeah. Lug nut, bolt head, something like that. Pretty simple and quick. And I'm using wings 1.3.1.7.G8A4A snapshot version. And... Why am I using this version? Because in preferences, I can turn off the smart highlighting and a new version doesn't let you do that. And why is that? Because when I work with vertexes, I like to stay in them and stuff. Same with faces, edges, and object. So where smart highlighting, it just likes whatever your mouse is hovering over. And you know, I kind of, I'm a little sloppy with my mouse, so I just like to leave it off and you actually have to go to the, like the downloads page and look for the version list to find this version. So we're at 1.4.1 1 .1 or 2 or something. But I use this old version because of that. So yeah, just so you know. And if you're wondering when my icons look different, they're in classic mode. I'm going to turn some things off because I'm just a little loose and sloppy with clicking. So just my own personal preferences. But I'm going to show you how to model a bolt head, like I said, so here's how to do it. First you go with the cylinder and right click. And we're just going six sections. Like so. And as you can see, it's kind of six like a bolt already. But what you do. And I'm going to show you how to get it for smoothing. So just move Y. It will give you enough of a shape and you can scale it. And plop it on stuff in the future. All you gotta do is you got your six sided cylinder. Already has the bolt shape. And you select three faces like so. So one, two, and three with one face in between each one. And then you go inset but with the middle mouse button option. And see how it is right now? You don't want it like that because it is an average mode. If you look at the bottom of the window, you will see it. So I am going to hit T for long edges. And it's long edges mode now. So I just use constraints so I have consistency. I'm just using distance 2. Click like that. Now on the next three flats, not faces, but flats. As you can see, each one is made out of three faces now. I select those. And I do the same... Oh, I didn't want that one selected. But I do the same thing on the next three flats with staggering with one face in between. And inset with the middle mouse button. Same distance along edges. Boom. Here you can see I have control loops that make it like so. Now if I go view, quick smooth preview, you can see why those control loops are important. Because I get rounded corners, but I still have some preservation of the flats. And I am going to do... What am I going to do now? I am going to do a quick inset. It's a small one. And I'll make those edges hard. that quads. So, and on this side, so, well we can do a flat bolt like so. On this side I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to first slide here. So now, by doing that, I am hitting G to select a ring. G for ring, and then C to connect, and I slide, but it's just how I add extra loop. Set that to hard. You smooth preview, you get an idea. And what I am going to do here now is here. Slide a little bit down like so. As 
damage there. Or I'm also going to set to hard hard. And now, what else am I going to do? Oh yeah. One more. And connect. And I want to slide that one up like so. I'm going to make this a flared nut head. So right now it's just a regular hex nut. I am going to flare the base of it. It's a circular base. So that's an edge ring with the G by picking one of those edges. Go to face mode. Now I have a face loop instead of a edge ring. Or a face ring instead of well you get the idea. Now I hit L and it selects both of those edge loops. And what I'm going to do now is circularize. But I have it set to absolute diameter. Actually it could be either way, it could be uh be relative diameter too. What I'm doing here is I'm flaring the base out so I have a circular flared base. Connect. Slide a little bit. And I'm going to make that hard. And. I'll slide. I don't need to slide anymore that hard and I can actually just make that quads and now as you can see that is a bolt head a quick smooth preview and it got a bolt that could be a lug nut or a bolt but it's got a flared head and you have an idea of how to model it now you can make it different sizes whatever you want to do but that's how you model it. Real simple, real useful. You can plop it on anything. And it's not that hard to make. <laughs> Bolt hit. There you go.